So in this video, I'm going to take a look at a cheap eBay alternative uh, electronic load and battery tester. We'll have a look at why you might actually need an electronic load. Obviously the battery tester function is pretty self-evident and how we actually go about using this budget electronic load. Let's take a look. Well, the reason that you'd want an electronic load is so that you can test parts of a circuit or power supplies, such as step up voltage regulators, step down voltage regulators, or battery packs. This will emulate the end device, such as an LED light panel or something else that you might have that will draw from the battery pack or the power supply. And this will be able to give you a good indication as to how far you can push your power supply and what other problems you might run into, rather than actually connecting up your final um, source, such as an LED light panel, and do damage or cause additional problems. So this is a great investigative tool for building up your circuits and building up your projects. Additional to that, this has a nifty little battery function. So it tests the batteries uh, or power supplies or power packs that you connect to this electronic load in function number two. And it will monitor all the way through the drain, the current and the voltage, stopping at a predetermined voltage, whatever you decide to set it on, and measuring the amp hours and the watt hours that have come out of that battery or battery pack. Okay, so the electronic load function, pretty simple. You connect your load to the green terminals, positive and negative. You set using the dial what voltage and what current you actually think you want, and you hit the, the uh, little black run button. The little red LED will come on, and you are drawing through that power supply, through that pack, the load that you have stipulated. So this particular device uses a 12 volt external power supply. You do need external power to run this. And it is a fairly generic 2.1 millimeter um, barrel jack and up to a five amp supply. So it's ideal for those kinds of power bricks that you get with LED light panels and, and lighting kits. Uh, it doesn't require that high of a draw, but anything from half an amp to five amps at 12 volts with a 2.1 millimeter barrel jack connection. So in order to select between electronic load and battery testing function, hold down the little black run button before you connect the external power. Hold it down until you see the fun or the function selection pop up on the little LED display and turn the uh, selector dial to fun one or fun two, function one or function two, Function one is the electronic load. Function two is the battery testing mode. So once you've got either your electronic load or your load hooked up to this electronic load, uh, and you've got your, or you've got your battery hooked up to this electronic load in battery testing mode, you simply select the settings that you want using the uh, silver dial and pushing it down to increment between uh, tenths and hundredths. So this will go all the way to 30, 35 volts and all the way up to 10 amps. But obviously that combination is 300 watts of power. This is a maximum 60 watt electronic load. So if you are selecting something like 10 amps, you can't go any higher than six volts. If you need a 12 volt test, your maximum in this instance would be five amps. And it will give you a warning if you go over those limits. So just while we're on the error codes, you've probably seen one, up, one flash up on the screen there already. So error one, uh, ultra high voltage. So battery capacity is um, not going to work because the voltage is too high. Error two, the battery voltage is below the preset termination voltage or you haven't got a battery connected. So it's pretty self-evident. Error three, line resistance is too high. I have actually run into this error uh, trying to connect a battery through very thin wires to the electronic load for testing and the current was set too high on the device and it simply gave an error code. So I needed to use thicker wire and that fixed the problem. Error four, circuit failure. I haven't come across that error yet. 
Era 6 working power is inappropriate. Now that means your external 12 volt power supply is probably below 0.5 of an amp and you just need a more robust power supply. OTP means that something is overheated and the overheating protection has kicked in. ERT means the temperature sensor failed or the temperature is too low. So there is a minimum operating temperature. I think it's five degrees Celsius or maybe even negative five Celsius. Uh, and you are outside of that range. OUP is over volt protection, which means something has gone over and above the uh, thresholds of the device and the, the protection circuit has kicked in. And OPP, if you ever see that one, that is transient over power protection. So as you can see on the screen at the moment, I've done some battery testing with this device and the results were reasonably good. Now, one thing I will state is the claimed um, the claimed accuracy is less than 5% and I can't refute that at this point in time. What I would like to do is to be able to get a more robust electronic load and put this one beside another electronic load, maybe something from Keysight or Agilent and compare this device to the ratings that I get out of one of those more robust electronic loads. But at this stage can't do that, but it has given me some fairly consistent ratings when I've tested batteries and I've been able to put a number of cells through their paces and the, uh, the results to me look like within a 10% accuracy rating. For the most part, I think that's good enough and it definitely gives you a good indication of where your pack is at, what your cells are really doing in the real world situation and how long you'll actually get if you're doing battery pack testing or battery testing, uh, how long they'll run in your projects, which is a handy piece of information to know. Obviously the fan on the device and heat sinks fairly robust. The fan is a uh, automatic controlled fan, so it only kicks in when it's required. Uh, it is fairly quiet, it's done a pretty good job. I've had this running for many hours in one test, up to eight hours there at one point, and had absolutely no issues at all. So there you go, a nice look around a cheap sub $30 electronic load available off eBay and battery testing device. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. By all means, subscribe and I hope you'll join me again in a week's time.